Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith and we're going to look at open captions, some kind, sometimes called subtitles in Adobe Premiere Pro. All right, let's get the definition of these out of the way. Closed captioning is not open captions or subtitles. A lot of people call closed captioning and, and subtitles the same thing. Closed captioning is a hidden digital stream in the file. You don't see it on your video. Um, you can only see it if you're watching on a device or on a website that supports playing back those files. That's that little closed captioning button on your remote. You turn it on, you see it, you turn it off, it's gone. Or the closed captioning button on YouTube. It's a, it's a sidecar file or an embedded file that's a digital file. It's not words on the screen. Open captions, subtitles are words on the screen. They're burned into the bottom of the video. You can't turn them on, you can't turn them off. They're not exported as a separate file. You can think of them exactly as a title. In fact, for many years, people would create subtitles painfully by making a title and dropping it in over and over again. Well, all we have to do is take one track and make it an open, open captions track. Next thing to understand is we can convert a closed captions file to an open captions file, no problem, but you can't go back. Why? Because you can easily do things in an open caption file that aren't supported in a closed caption file, like change the font, and then that breaks the closed caption file. So let's take a closed caption file, and there's lots of services out there where you can send a video and they will give you back a closed caption file, or you can make it yourself like I did. Um, and I'm going to duplicate it. So I'm not going to convert my closed caption into an open caption. I'm going to duplicate it so I have both because you can't go back. Ready? Let's go. Okay, so you'll notice over on the right hand side, I've got a closed caption file that I brought in. It looks like a video file. There's really not a lot of difference, but if you get right click and choose properties, you'll see that the file type is in fact a captions file. Okay, I'm going to right click and duplicate it and name this open captions. I'll right click on the open captions, go to modify, go to captions, and you'll see that this is already a closed caption file. If I click in the little pop-up, choose open captions, there's no other option available, click OK, now there's no way to go back. They look the same, but they are different. So when I open this up, you can see that this is my closed captioning file. I'll open up the open captions file, and you'll notice the type looks different right away. That's because the options are different. Down at the bottom here, closed captions look a certain way, and open captions now are a font. The default is Arial, and you can see it even took the uh, the formatting from the closed captioning. So you can see that this is italic, and that is regular. So all the fonts that you happen to have installed in your system completely available. And let's go and start to uh, change this. So I'll go to double identity. Select that, and let's go to something totally crazy, and we can change the size. And I've, I find that the, this, this area might be a little bit confusing. This is the background color, and this is the text color. So if we turn on the transparency grid, you'll see that this particular color uh, has a background color of black at 100%, so I can change the overall opacity of that background color. The type is still at 100%, but you need to change two things for a background color. That, and that's the color, so I could change that to a red. I could even pick a color, so I can pick a different color completely in the file, and I can change the opacity of that color. 
If I turn the opacity to zero, then my type has its, the type is not surrounded by that background. So I can choose any color I want for that type. So there we go. Now that, that looks completely different from that one. That's one of the radical things you can do with open captions, completely change anything. Um, so you can use any kind of typeface that you want for any language that you want to drop in. Okay. Now, the, the other thing about positioning <clears throat> that's important, you'll notice that there is a grid here, and closed captions are based on a grid. They can only be displayed within that grid. Either they're in the bottom or the middle or the top or what have you. But you can also change this to percentage. And you might be asking, well, why isn't this pixel based? It's not pixel based because it has to play back on different resolutions and different screens from televisions that are all over the map. So <clears throat> if you had this as an HD resolution, well, how does it play back on SD or 720p versus 1080p? So it is a percentage and you can move these numbers. I'm just basically dragging these numbers around and positioning them that way. So you can Use the grid, you can position them wherever you want, place them on the file. So over here, I've got my closed captions file. I'm just gonna delete that and drop in my open captions file. And you can see when we get to the end, we've got a completely different title, different font on there. If you don't want the open captions to show in the video, turn the eyeball off in the track. You can't turn off embedding in the export dialog. So you have to just go over here, turn that off. Now there's no uh, open captions. That's the only way you can do that. You're not embedding the file. You're also burning this in regardless of the file format. So let's export this out. So I'll select this, choose file, export, media, just as you normally would. And if we go and look, there's our open captions turned on. There's no place in here to turn these on and off. Even though you might go into the captions and look at the export and it shows you a format, and forget all that, that's only if you have closed captions. <clears throat> it's a little bit confusing, uh, but you could do both. You could be, this file could have both open and closed captions. It makes no sense because they would override each other and it would be a mess, but you get the idea. And once you export or send this out to Media Encoder, you will have those burned into the file. I also want to show you on the right-hand side to uh, see closed captions, you've got them enabled. But when they're open captions, they're just going to show up normally. So there is nothing there to turn on. Now, to make these from scratch, if you wanted to do that, just go to the File menu, New, Captions, you pick the resolution of the format that you have, and here you get to pick whether they're open or closed captions. It made a new file for us. Let's delete this one. We drag it into our video, and you'll notice that the length, you can't drag this out. It needs to have content in here, so double click, Open this up and you'll see that we've got a beginning and end. Get a big gun. And we can change the position of that, the duration right there. Once you do that, then you can drag that out. <clears throat> okay, so there we go. He had a big gun. And um, like I said before, we can easily change the size and the position of that. Place it wherever you want. Once you add another caption, click here. It will begin where the other one left off. So 614, if you want it in a different location, you can drag that out. And then you can drag this out here. And it will start a little bit later. She ran away.
And you'll notice here that right now, my time is only on one frame. So if I move that later, that's why it's a little bit clunky. And then you can start to see where those titles are. So when you grab another title, drag it over, drag that out, drag the duration, drag that out, you'll see there's a new title or text here. So that's what it is. It's clunky. You've got to listen to the audio and start dropping that in. Um, it took me quite a while just to do this, this little teaser, but it is something that you can do. That, like I said, there are a lot of uh, formats out there that are all the closed captioning formats are supported. Um, Premiere Pro also supports harvesting of closed captioning data in a video. So if you were to receive a video that had embedded closed captioning, as you embed that, the closed captioning will be exported out as a separate file in the project bin. You won't see it on your hard drive. It's in the project bin and there you have it and you can drop it on and work with it. You can also export out your closed captioning uh, data to different formats. But uh, open captions, I just keep, I, the reason I keep explaining uh, the closed captioning is to give you an avenue to use data that you might already have so you don't have to start from scratch. So you can use other data, you can import it, you can get services to make it, or you can start it and make it from scratch. So for the first time, especially to all the international users out there who want subtitles, also called open captions, they're now there inside Premiere Pro. Like usual, if you don't see this, it's time to upgrade. Hopefully you found this informative. If you did, take a moment and subscribe. If you're new to a video revealed, uh, welcome. And if you want to support us um, a little bit further, then you can join us over on Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith. And it's my job to get you looking your best.